So the next question is from Maple Candy, and they're asking about advertisement for Cardano on TV and radio, about Cardano's benefits and how you would use advertisement to push Cardano for forward. So yeah, that's a good question of how do we advertise Cardano and what, what does it even mean to advertise Cardano? You know, I remember in the early days of Bitcoin, BitPay did a lot of crazy things like they sponsored a, one of the bulls. I think it was the St. Petersburg bull. And so we ended up having the Bitcoin bull. And uh, there was a lot of crazy publicity stunts that were done in 2013 and 2014 and 15 to a variety of degrees of success. There was even several commercials and I think there was talk of a Super Bowl commercial, but I don't think that particular one materialized. But there were college uh, football commercials that were done. And, you know, it's a good question of is it meaningful to use traditional media to advertise? And I would argue that we're in a post-traditional media world and the demographics that still consume these things are probably a bit too disengaged uh, to, to really do things well. I mean, if you look at the growth pattern of Facebook, there's never really been a product that has been so incredibly good at capturing the elderly and capturing mature adults without ever having to run an advertisement. I mean, and because their growth strategy was focus on the young, get them in certain niche enclaves. And then when they escape from those enclaves, they have an incentive to go viral and bring their social network in. And the process of doing that, they don't discriminate. They're gonna bring mom and pa and grandma and they're gonna use it to communicate with them. So similarly, one can argue that the growth pattern of cryptocurrencies is probably going to look at the the, the same out the the same flow. So you know, if you look at the demographics that currently possess crypto and use crypto, it's mostly a game of people under the age of thirty. Uh, so you know, I would argue that the best thing to do is focus on economies where the majority of people are under the age of thirty. Africa, as a whole, is like this. Over seventy percent of the population in Ethiopia is under the age of thirty. And statistically, if you're between the age of 18 and 30 and anywhere on the planet, you, you have a more, greater than 50% chance have, of having heard of cryptocurrencies and a greater than 25% chance of having at least participated in one cryptocurrency transaction or installed a wallet. That's pretty remarkable if you think about it. So if you have to bet and say, where am I going to historically see the greatest growth of adoption, it's probably going to be within that demographic. And so it's going to be biased towards countries that have those demographics in uh, in uh, large scale. But here's the thing. Once they come in, now you have a surrogate to broadcast that to their friends and family. And they're not going to discriminate and say, I'm only going to broadcast it to my brother and sister. They're also going to tell mom and dad and grandma and grandpa. And that's where organic use cases come from, especially on remittance use cases. Like the daughter goes to London to go work as a maid and then sends $100 of value home every, um, every month to mom or to grandma uh, to take care of them. Very, very common, especially in the Philippines or Mexico. Uh, and if they're doing this with crypto instead of doing it with dollars because they can save on fees, that's an example of how you get that demographic in and you reach that particular demographic. Uh, so uh, the majority of our adoption efforts tend to be focused in that age category. And um, the easiest way of reaching them is to reach them through digital formats. So you do that with Telegram groups, Facebook groups. You do that with podcasts. Like the intellectual dark web has a huge reach. And so if you can intermingle with that, you can end up getting millions of people. Uh, and uh, they, they also tend to be pretty proactive and you tend to have a two-way conversation with these people. So there's a different form of social engagement. The dragnet style advertising of the 20th century, like radio ads and television ads, I've always viewed that as like carpet bombing. Sometimes it works, but it's, it's probably better to use smart bombs or precision bombs you can you can get you can get much better impact and a much lower cost and a lot less collateral damage in the uh, in the process. So uh, no, I, I don't think we'll be going down that road. But you know, reasonable people can disagree, and if certain people want to invest money and uh, do this, it's a decentralized ecosystem. So um, so have fun with that. Uh, one last thing to mention, you know, yeah, it's important to have the USP is clear, and it's important to have consumable content that is suitable for virality. So this is where you need to have infographics, and this is where you need to have three to five page handouts of what is Cardano and why is it interesting, what is a financial operating system, what is this whole financial inclusion thing about, and why is our system better than the competi 
uh, competing systems and uh, you know what are these concepts like peer review and formal methods uh, these have to be generated and that's uh, that's a provenance of good marketing and it's one of the things the foundation was responsible for which they never did so uh, we're now doing that and um, once those things are done then they can be shared and uh, only when you have that kernel of basic things done is it worthwhile actually spending a meaningful amount of money in a marketing campaign or otherwise what you're doing is you're just throwing people into the deep end you're saying hey there's this cardano thing go and read a 35 page paper and watch hours and hours and hours of youtube videos it's like great uh, and for the five people who do that they're very loyal and for the million people who don't do that uh, you've lost their attention because they all have short attention spans these days.